Hi, everybody. It's Three Things to Know with JM Partners on the ground in Atlanta. Bridget Posey. Hi. Adam Vickers. Hello. Good morning. And of course, Sherry Metcalf. So good to see y'all this week. I don't, for those of you who are watching and not and, and listening, not just listening, we have some bathrooms in the background because today is three things to know about the trends in bathrooms. They are, we're going to talk about the color, the size, and it's not just the size of the bathroom, by the way. And number three, kind of part of what it's some of the styles coming back. Let's just name, let's just put it that way. So number one, let's talk about color. As you guys can see, we all have very different bath back bathrooms in our background, but there is actually a common consistent theme going on with color and bathrooms, which is you've got contrast where you've got either black and white or you've got big pops of color. For example, the bathroom I'm in has a green, a lot of green tile and gold. And for those of you listening, you might be thinking there's no way that looks good, but if you watch, you'll see. Bridget, anything you want to add to that? Well, and we talked about the wood as well, but mine, the bathroom that I have has a lot of contrast as well. It has the small penny tiles, but the way they did it floor to ceiling, the contrast of the black with the gold, it's more of like a, almost like a white, gray, black combination. And then with the gold, it looks really, it looks really nice. I like it. And it's all about the contrast and then pulling it all together. Like in mine, again, it's gonna be hard for people who are just listening, but um, the vanity actually has sink bowls that are black. And so it, it, you know, it kind of flows well with, with the shower. Well, which goes back more to the trends on color. There are also black fixtures are coming in and or black bathtubs. So anything you wanna to add to us about the color trend right now, Adam? Well, my, the background of mine isn't as contrast as, as the way yours is, but um, yeah, I mean, you see it. I mean, you can see it on the floors and the one in my background. And it, I mean, it just has something different, some patterns, um, not just everything plain white and, and straightforward. There's definitely some, some character that you can bring out in your bathroom that, um, that we hadn't seen before. So that's kind of the way your that. Shower, I didn't cutting you off. I'm sorry, Adam, but your shower has green as well. See the tile? It does, yeah. It, there's a, there's a yeah. little bit in there. It's, not, it's subtle, a pop of color here and there. Exactly. Green with the wood does look really good. In well, Jerry's. which comes into the next trend. It does, doesn't it? The next trend, which is nature is back. So the wood, exposed wood, cabinets, chairs in the room. And we're seeing people in houses and you'll see in the magazines, lots of plants, light, nature, that's really in. And in each of our bathrooms, I don't know about yours, Bridget, but mine's got the, even though we've got the bright gold or the bright green or the dark, but bold green, you've got the, the cabinets that are natural wood. And Adam, you've got a lot of exposed wood going on in your bathroom. And Bridget, you've got a plant in yours. I do. <laughs> and last but not Last but not least, this one's interesting is the size. As we know, the bathrooms keep getting bigger and bigger, but also the countertops are getting taller. They used to be like 30 inches. Now they're 40 inches high. The toilets used to be low. Now they're getting like, it's like handicapped height in the bathrooms. So kind of interesting there. Do y'all want to add anything to that? I guess it signifies we're getting taller, but that doesn't really work well for the people who aren't tall. That's all right. Well, and then we've got <laughs> toilet rooms are getting bigger, showers are getting bigger. We've got this has been going on for a while, but bathtubs are going in showers now, and then the shower is even bigger, and the bathtub's even bigger. We, this isn't in our three things, but we've got asymmetrical bathtubs are becoming trendy. You've got a lot of symmetry and then asymmetrical mirrors and bathtubs in some bathrooms to make it pop, which comes into accents in bathrooms these days. But, you know, it's a lot of fun. You spend a lot of time in them, so you might as well make it pretty, right? You, Bridget? <laughs> Getting ready. <laughs> oh, that was too easy. All right, Adam's getting really quiet now, everybody. Mm -hmm. But there we are, three things to know with jmpartners.io, but three things to know dot jmpartners.io. Thanks for listening. Again, the trends in bathrooms, color, size, and nature's back.
Talk to y'all soon. Bye. Adam doesn't even want to say bye. Well, I've <laughs> We threw him on the bathroom comment. Sorry, Adam. Thank you for listening to the JM Partners Atlanta Market Eavesdrop. If you like what you heard, please subscribe and share with your friends who might be moving or who just want to keep up with the latest on the Atlanta residential market. You can find us anytime online at jmpartners.io. That's jmpartners.io.